So here at UMass Amherst, we use something called a holistic review process. This is probably a term that you'll hear a lot throughout the college search process if you haven't already. And it can be a little bit confusing, so hopefully I can break that down a little bit and explain what a holistic review actually means. And what that means is that we never make admissions decisions just based on grades and test scores alone. Your GPA, so the grades from high school, as well as your standardized test scores are both important factors when it comes to deciding if you're going to be an academic fit for admission to UMass Amherst. But we're never just going to look at the GPA and say, oh, they're definitely in, no need to read the rest of their application, or oh no, their GPA isn't a fit, so we're not going to read this, it's just going to get put in the rejection pile, thankfully. Because we know that you're more than just a set of numbers, and there's a lot of different factors that can influence how those numbers actually come out. So what we wanna do is look for students who are going to be an academic fit for UMass Amherst, but also have a lot of other things going for them that show us that they're gonna be a good community member, they're gonna take advantage of the opportunities that we have here at UMass Amherst, and that they're gonna thrive in our competitive academic environment. So what we'll basically do is start by looking at the quantitative items like your GPA in your standardized test scores, and then look to see if the other information that you're providing us like your essay, your extracurricular list, and your recommendations are really lining up with what we expect to see based on the academics. So a holistic review means that we look at everything that you send us. And I think that that's kind of refreshing to hear because we know that you're gonna spend a lot of time working on your application. And it's nice to know at least that on the other side of the screen, so to speak, that we're gonna spend that time as well, looking at everything that you sent us and really trying to get a big picture of who you are as a person, not just as a set of numbers on a page. It's important for students to remember that everything that they submit to us is going to be considered in the holistic review. So that means that we're going to be considering what school you go to, what opportunities have been available to you, where your time and energy is being spent. You know, if you're a student, again, who works outside the classroom or may have family responsibilities or is even helping to financially support your family, we're going to take that into context. We're, we're looking at your grades, your activities. Um, that also means that if your school offers a lot of different opportunities like tests prep, AP, and honors classes, and you're doing well, we'd like to see you take advantage of some of those things. So we're going to look at what's been available to you and what you took advantage of as appropriate for you. It goes the other way around as well. You know, I always give the example, I went to the smallest public high school in Massachusetts, and my high school only offered two AP classes. One was in Spanish, and I studied French in high school, and one was in chemistry, and that's just really not my my jam, I'm more of a arts and history type girl. So I didn't take any AP classes in high school, but it wasn't because I was the type of student who didn't want to take a challenge or you know, who just wanted to coast along. It was because only one was an option for me and I knew it wasn't an area of strength and it wouldn't be the right choice for me. But we would look at that and say, oh, this high school only offers two APs and she wasn't eligible for one, which is totally different than a school that offers 17 AP classes at all different levels that are offered in multiple sections and you're getting straight A's and just choose not to enroll in one. So we do look at the context and what's available to you when we're really evaluating your grades, your test scores, your extracurriculars, and all of that good stuff.